This is Gerald the Hero, and this is my review of Sukasuka Episode 5. Chitha Lee uh, fights a little harder because she wants to have a peaceful world with Willem. Unluckily, a new type of monster appears, and she almost throws herself on this monster because of what Willem says. But it's almost the opposite of what Willem's intention was. He wanted her to come back safe, but what she thinks that means is that she needs to just destroy everything. I guess that goes back to the fact that the girl's don't really care that much about their own personal harm. It was interesting when Nephrine was sitting in Willem's lap. I kind of wonder if she was just messing with Chetali to make her show her feelings toward Willem and get her jealous. You can kind of tell that Willem is trying to ignore this fact, but it gets super awkward even though he didn't ask for this. Pure um, barges in and asks for help with the local gang that doesn't like this features. Uh, her father is being threatened because of a, making a policy of peaceful existence for everyone. Now, it's kind of understandable that even though the human race is pretty much wiped out with the exception of Willem, uh, people that are disfeatured are a reminder of the humans that caused this disaster. So, of course, this group and a lot of regular people don't want beings that look like humans in the town for fear that the creatures will attack there because of this. It's interesting that Willem doesn't want to be involved. His point about not being a hero almost implies that he tried to be a hero in the past, and obviously that didn't work out. Willem is almost like a retired hero that's had enough and he just wants a peaceful life, but of course that's not going to happen. Now, of course, we knew eventually he would help Prier, but Prier goes about it in a way to explain how much she likes this town and doesn't want it to be destroyed. I kind of think the monsters will probably attack this town next. I bet it's a little foreshadowing. Anyways, it's interesting that Willem is quite aware that the gang, the Annihilation Knights, would show up. And it's almost comical because Willem defeats them by pointing at them with his hand like a gun. I was kind of hoping the cops, uh, when they showed up, would arrest them by trampling them like they did in that last episode. Uh, Chethali, of course, sees through Willem's deception and knows that he flung coins at the bad guys super fast. He kind of wonders how she noticed, but then she confesses um, that she pays attention to him because she's in love with him. And you can tell he can't quite handle this. And he also sees something in Chethali that reminds him of the girl that he was trying to return to. So his past love, probably. Uh, at the end, it was kind of funny because the bunny officer that was looking for him was described to him as a dis disfeatured that seems to like younger girls, which is pretty funny. But it got pretty serious at the end because apparently he's being summoned by someone important or someone from his past. Luckily, Willems reassures Chithali that he will come back to her somehow. I wonder if he'll be able to fulfill that promise. Overall, really great episode. Um, it was kind of like, we're still kind of building up to when probably the bad stuff's going to happen. It was kind of interesting to see how the town was. And then the fight between uh, Willem and the Annihilation Knights were kind of funny. Kind of reminded me of Yu Yu Hakusho with this use case of special attack in a way, even though it was just coins. And I was kind of thrown off by Chutali, you know, confessing. I mean, you could kind of tell she does love him, but like, I didn't expect her to say it this episode. We'll have to see what happens uh, between the two and also that event that occurred. What that has to do with Willem. Is it something from after he was frozen or something from his past? We'll have to see. So like always, comment below, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you next time.